23rd, the inverted 923. Why did David Icke think that he was God? Because he said that, right? He said, I'm the son of God. But, I mean, was there any real connections? Like, was he experiencing things like I have? Or does his name mean something? similar does he have any divine gifts or was it just something that he thought of I don't know I'm just thinking you know like I I know I'm not crazy like I'm crazy to an extent right I mean like I believe in the the way of the light which I guess in today's society makes me crazy, right? Like, I believe the Earth's flat. I believe space is an ocean. I believe those stars are actually angels. The set path. Another weird thing to think about. Would I do it? Lord, my God, Lord of hosts, pass the cup to me, what I do, and in what fashion is, that, is this going to Occur if I'm if I'm really gonna put my mind towards this thought. Would I be the Christ or would I be the Antichrist? I mean, and both are tools of God, right? Uh, the Antichrist is given the order by God to make war with the saints and he's ordered to behead them. Uh, before anybody else, right? Like it's the Christians. Uh, with all the Christians that have been killed before this point cry out. They ask, why have you not taken revenge on us? Why have you not saved our brothers? And, uh, and God says, uh, because your brothers and sisters have to be killed in a likewise fashion first, then I'll take my vengeance. And when I think about it, both sides of the coin, the Antichrist that causes the mass execution of beheadings, and then, and then the coming Phoenix, I guess you'd say. Um, both are destroyers of worlds, right? And, uh, the one looks more evil than the other, right? The one is going to declare himself to be evil, 
and to be the opposite of the Christ. And his actions are gonna follow through and be true to that. And then the Christ himself will come back and with a cape soaked in the blood of his enemies, fire burning in his eyes, and a giant broadsword, he will destroy this place. I mean, would you do it? I'm nothing right now, I'm a man. I'm 140 pounds. Since the dawning of 2020, I was, I was faced with uh, many choices and uh, many things lined up and showing themselves to me and, uh, you know, I've been anointed with the crowned snake venom. I had no other choice. I think you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, or if it has anything to do with what side I picked. Maybe I picked the side already, I don't know. But my heart has always been with the Christ, and I will do whatever he asks me to do. So if he asks me, to do this thing. You know, like, uh, it's like that saying, you know, when something, you know, it's got to be done right, you just, you got to do it yourself. That's what I'm feeling here, and I don't know how to explain it. It's like, maybe I'm just a lunatic, right? Maybe I've just been pushed over the edge. Maybe, uh, maybe the lockdowns and the, and the psychotic behavior that they've forced us to do has broken my mind and I don't realize it. Or I'm seeing these things because I'm supposed to. And I'm filming the things that I'm filming because I'm supposed to. And you are watching it because you're supposed to. So, there's, there's creatures, right? Like uh, the bloodline. are like the fallen rep reptilian looking in nature and uh, use hologram technology to blend in and uh, but there's also familiars which are humans that worship these things and that perform rituals to allow these spirits inside of their bodies, inside of their vessel. Um, for purposes of, you know, like mass hypnosis and stuff like that uh, through the television, I'm sure. But my point is I've been, I've been testing myself because I feel like there's something in me, there's something been in me. You know, I don't know what it is, right? I mean, I got a clue. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, but uh, but I guess someone more more intelligent than me could tell me who I am. I don't know. I'm just saying that I've been looking into the sun and filming myself uh, 
filming my eyes, trying to see if there was something there. And uh, yeah, the, the one time I did it, it was, uh, it looks like, like it, the eye of a fox. You know, which immediately reminded me of, uh, you know, the nine-tailed fox, Naruto, which I've been joking about for years that that spirit is in me. And uh, what if it's not a joke, you know? Like, what if I'm not crazy? Like, I understand that, you know, certain mental illnesses could lead to uh, like a Christ complex, a God complex, but I don't think that's what this is, you know, like this is, and it feels different now, like now that I know more about myself and I, you know, I, like I'm, well, at least I'm thinking more about it, uh, it seems like I'm getting demonically attacked more often. Not just me, but my, my girlfriend as well. Um, there's something in our house, you know, I don't know if it's uh, an extension of myself, like a psychokinetic energy. Like, you know, when people, you know, when things move around or you hear voices or banging, knocking. Uh, you know, sometimes it could be the, the person in the house is a very powerful psychic or a clairvoyant or psychokinetic mage, whatever you want to label this type of person um, and they could not know that they are this type of person right well you know I'm starting to think that maybe that's what's going on in my house because it's like it's mimicking my voice a lot and it you know like what if it's the, me what if think you know it's just weird shit weird shit is going on Thank mm -hmm. you.